Hello, friends. Well, today is the day we've been looking for because tomorrow life would begin to return back to normal and accept we got another month coming. Yet, challenges are beginning to build against the decision of our governor. And that's a good thing. Like that's a, a beautiful part of our democracy. God has truly blessed us. But be careful. Don't get caught in the drama. Don't get caught up in posting disrespectful things toward our leadership. Because every person is to be subject to governing authorities. Romans 13. For there is no authority except from God. And those that exist have been instituted by God. The authorities we have, they're from God instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed. And those who resist will incur judgment. Don't put yourself in a place to incur judgment from God. I mean, there are so many ways that we can rightly express our desires, our desires for our church, for our families, for our lives. Like vote. Vote according to God's word. Vote according to your conscience. And then let your voice be heard. Isn't it beautiful that some of the greatest changes that we have made as a country were a response to those who had figured out how to respectfully protest? That's a beautiful thing in our country. And then if God calls you to service, to public service, to be a governing authority, let God use you like that. But don't get caught up in disrespecting, in resisting the authorities that God has established. Submission is not based on agreement. Actually, disagreement is the test of submission. We're okay. We're going to be okay. We hoped it would be over by now, but we still have hope. And I can't wait to share with you this weekend from Romans chapter 8. Man, some good stuff. We find hope this weekend. And as you see glimpses of hope, make sure you're sharing those. Uh, throw it on social media. Put the hashtag hope is more contagious. And we get to share the hope of the gospel and the hope of what God is doing in our lives. And then with that, keep reading Romans chapter 8. About the time you're sick of it, you're just getting it. And we're going to be okay. God is good. We trust Him. He holds our country and our leaders in his hand. Let me pray for us. God, thank you for my friends. Thank you that when things seem so unsettled, you're still in control. Thank you that when people in control make what seems like really bad decisions, you're still in control. And God, I pray that you would guide our country, that you would guide the state of Illinois, you would guide Kentucky, you would guide us as a people, your church, as we navigate really difficult times and decisions, Lord, that your will would be done and many more people would come to have hope in this situation that we find ourselves in. God, we trust you. I ask your blessing on my friends today as they sort through difficulties, all the difficulties they face, that they would be reminded that you are holding our future in your hands and we trust you. God bless us today as we grow in our faith, as we grow in our trust of you. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. We can submit to leaders who sometimes get it wrong because they are servants of the one who always gets it right. That's a beautiful promise from God's word. Have a great day.